As a former recruiter and HR executive, I've sat in on hundreds of job interviews. So I've seen some really good ones and I've seen some really bad ones. So today I wanted to share how to do your makeup for a job interview and some other boss lady hacks on your appearance so that you are confident walking in to that job interview. Make sure you click that red subscribe button if you're new and keep watching because I'm gonna share with you exactly how to do your makeup the way that I have it right now so that you can slay that interview you've got coming up. All right, let's get going on this look. I have nothing on my face right now besides the Rodan and Fields Ultra Hydrating Serum, I believe it's called. It's like a really good moisturizer and I feel like it's a really good base for my makeup lately. But I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush. And then this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation. And you don't need much of this stuff. I use the shade, I believe it's 14. Let's see, yeah, 14 is called Silk which is like my summertime go-to. I just got a new one the other day. And I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Bronzer. I was told they stopped making this stuff, which makes me really sad because it's like the perfect thing to just add to your foundation during summertime. But okay, I'm gonna put this on. And I'm just putting this all around my face. The key here though is you want to go to a makeup store and get matched for your actual skin tone because for any sort of a job interview, working in an office, if you're a teacher in a school, any kind of a business where they just want you to look fresh faced and natural but put together, you want to find the perfect foundation. And the reason I really like Bare Minerals is because even when my skin might change a shade or two in the summer, they have so many shade options that I can always find one that matches my skin tone really well. And it's the only foundation, because I've tried a lot, that doesn't make me break out. I have fairly sensitive skin and I still have like occasional spots, different places on my face and I've tried a ton and Bare Minerals is the brand that just works for me. I notice it doesn't clog my pores and if anything, I feel like it's also like just improved my skin in general, wearing it every single day, which I think is rare to find in wearing any sort of foundation. So that is just blended all over my face, but to get my under eye circles and a couple of those spots that I mentioned, I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This is the Medium Neutral 08. I like the stick. I used to use the liquid, but I got this to try it out and I actually like the way that it covers so much better, at least for summer. I would also then say for a job interview when you are likely going to be nervous and sweating probably a bit more than normal, I feel like this is a really good one for on those days or maybe you have a big presentation because it stays on even if you're a little bit sweaty. I've noticed wearing it all summer because we have had some hot days in Cleveland been hot in Cleveland. Ha ha. I've used that joke before. I've used it too much this summer. Um, but I'm using the, sorry, this is the Bare Minerals Luxe Performance Brush and this is what I use to kind of blend that in. And I just use like a very um, sort of like vibrating tapping motion to blend that in really nicely and cover up all of the under eye circles I have since I have two babies and have not been getting enough sleep. If you haven't been following, my dad was in the hospital and he's since been moved to a skilled nursing rehab center. So we have just had a lot of stress going on and oh, I have been up suffering just from like insomnia because I'm just up thinking and so I'm full of anxiety that I just can't sleep very well lately. So, all right, well you can kind of see then the effect of that concealer. I think it really does kind of help cover up those under eye circles without looking too fakey and it doesn't feel caked on at all. Like this feels 
very airy and light on my skin. This isn't sponsored by anyone, but Vera Minerals, I feel like just works for me. I would highly recommend trying it if you have not yet tried Bare Minerals. Okay, my lips are feeling a little bit chapped just here talking, so I'm gonna use this Sugar Honey. This is an SPF 15. It's a balm that has just a little hint of color in it, so. And it like has a really like yummy scent slash taste. It's not like sweet tasting, but the scent is very, very nice on it. Next, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon Palette. I heard they discontinued this too. I swear like everything I love and get obsessed with, <laughs> they like discontinue, which just makes me so, so sad. But there's a couple of other palette options and I'll link those down below too. I will link all the products that I'm using in this video, by the way, in case there's anything you want to invest in for yourself. Um, but I would find a palette that has very matte, natural toned shades. You do not, for a job interview, want to wear anything that is colorful, sparkly, over the top. So like, no way should you be wearing like totally fetch. But this Almond Truffle, I think is like the perfect nude eyeshadow. The Cashew Chew is also really nice. This Pecan Praline, that is a gray, sort of a very natural one, but they have no shimmer. I'm gonna use the Almond Truffle just to kind of be my base for all of my shadows. And I'm just going to apply this like fairly liberally because I want it to look like I'm put together, but I don't want it to be anything that again is like distracting or over the top. Use my finger blend that out a little bit better. Okay, and then for my crease, I'm gonna use the pecan praline just so that there's a little bit of a different shade. And I'm gonna use that just to sort of fill in my crease and give my eyes a little bit more definition. And I'm gonna take the Cashew Chew and just do like the inner corners of my eyes, but that just helps make your eyes look a little bit more awake. And I'm just using a plain old eyeshadow brush, and this is from the IT brush line. Next, this is like a Sonia Kashuk brush. They had it at Target a couple of years ago. Um, but this is like a flatter brush and I'm just gonna use the Divinity and a little bit of the Satin Sheets. This isn't like overly shimmery, but I just want that for on my brow bone to sort of highlight that before I fill in my brows. And again, for any job interview, you wanna look polished and put together. It shouldn't be like, oh, I'm not wearing any makeup. You just want your makeup to be natural and highlighting your natural beauty. You don't want anything that's distracting, too colorful, or too trendy, unless you're interviewing at like a vampire bar or something like that, and you should be like on theme for whatever it is where you're interviewing. But this is just for general, very stereotypical, standard job interviews. This is the kind of natural, polished, put together, pretty look that you wanna go for. And I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that Divinity. It's like a very white, creamy shade, and I'm gonna go underneath my eyes, corner to corner. And it actually works really nicely as a base for your mascara to have a little bit of powder to sort of help your mascara set and stick to your lashes for longer. Um, and then you can also go just on like the inside corners of your eye with this. Again, it just gives you a really nice, awake sort of a look. And then I'm not gonna use any kind of traditional black eyeliner. Again, I don't want anything that looks super dramatic or like I'm going out on the town. But what I am gonna do is use my eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna use this. It's called Malted. It's a very, very dark, rich brown. Again, this kind of helps it look a lot more natural. And I'm going to line all around my eyes with this powder. You don't want it to look too thick. You don't want it to look like anything crazy, but this just kind of brings out then your natural lash line. And because it's in brown, really any eye color, whether you have green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, this is going to complement your eyes. I'm kind of blending it with my finger there a little bit. I do wear eyelash extensions, by the way, but I'm in desperate need of a fill. I think I go in like four days, so that's why they look really sparse on the top right now. So that is it for the eyeshadows and liner, um, but I need to fill in my brows, and this is one of my all-time favorites. 
It is the IT Build a Brow brush. It has like a bristle brush on one side and then it has a tapered off brush that has almost like slits that when you use this, it draws it on to look like actual eyebrows. But then this is the IT Universal Taupe Build a Brow Gel. I think it says it's semi-permanent or it's waterproof gel stain. It stays on, you really, really have to scrub this off, but I just use a teeny little bit, brush up my brows to be sort of brushed out how I want them to look, and then I use the tapered edge to just fill them in so that my brows look nice and polished and put together. I think when your brows are done, it does just sort of help to pull together your face and I'm not trying to make them look overdone in any way, but I just want them to look nice and polished and put together and help frame the rest of my face. I will repeat that on the other side. Voila. Okay, brows are done. Um, so you can see how those look there. I feel like I got like fuzz or something in my eyelashes, so I'm just using like a plain mascara wand. That's kind of how I brush out my lash extensions every single day so that they still look fluffy. Yeah, I have like some kind of fuzz. Okay, mascara time. I'm gonna use the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. This is my favorite. If you don't have lash extensions, um, these make your lashes look amazing. I do just use them on my bottom lashes and since I'm close to getting a fill, sometimes I will just put a little bit on my top lashes, but I try not to do that because you know, then you, when you wash your face at night, you actually do have to sort of scrub your lashes and then it makes them fall out way faster. Just make the weirdest faces putting on mascara, right? <laughs> but like an awkward position right now too. Uh, I just don't want my hair to get in my mascara one. And I did bring clips to pull my hair back, so. I am just gonna put a little bit on my lashes to help fill them in since I really need to fill. I had to change my appointment because of everything going on with my dad, so I am like very overdue. <sighs> I just need a selfie day in general. Um, I still haven't gotten my nails done since like June. I've got like one pinky hanging on here. It's really disgusting. <laughs> All right, time to move on to cheeks. I am going to use the Too Faced Natural, I don't know if you can see that. There, I think you can see it now. <laughs> the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This one is really nice. Let me show you the inside. There's different um, highlighters, blushes, and bronzers. And I'm going to use this Style Mom XO. This is one of her brushes. It's a flat kabuki brush from Sigma. And I'm gonna use the Sunny Honey to just kind of go underneath my cheekbones. And I always make that duck face when I do this because then it just, to me, accentuates like where you should be putting your bronzer. So that is on my cheekbones and I'm also going to do it on my jawline and drag that down to my neck so that it looks nice and blended. A little bit of the darker shade for my neck too just so that my jawline looks very accentuated. Now I'm gonna to switch to an actual blush brush. Again, these were like Sonia Kashuk brushes I got at Target a while ago, so sorry, I know they will not be available anymore. And I'm gonna use a combo of the Pink Wink and the Pink Sand in this palette. So just kind of go back and forth. And I'm putting that all over my actual apple of my cheek sun. You just want to blend it so that it looks very, very natural, but of course you want your cheeks to have that nice rosy glow. Um, and then I'm going to use the Satin Sheets, which is the highlighter. And I just put a little bit of that on the top of my cheekbones then. All right, we are almost done. So the final thing I'm going to do with my lips, again, I put this Sugar Honey. It's sort of a nice balmy it's actually called tinted lip treatment so it just makes your lips very smooth and moisturized feeling but i'm going to use the nyx this is their mechanical lip liner in nude pink you want your lips to be pretty so pick a nude color of pink that's either the shade of your lips or just one shade darker you do not want any sort of a dramatic lip again you don't want anything where when you're speaking somebody's looking at you and is like whoa those are really bright pink lips or those are really bright red lips like you want to just enhance everything on your face as naturally as possible so that you look 
pretty and put together, but that nothing is drawing away from your skills and your attributes and what you're actually saying in the interview. <laughs> I'm gonna line my lips with this. And then I got this new shade, it's called XOX, and when I tested it in the store, um, it's by Bare Minerals, by the way, I thought it was like the perfect just like shade of my lips. Like I don't know if you can kind of tell in the camera there. So this, that's how I'm going to do my lips. And I'm never trying to like super overline my lips, but I just kind of go like along my lip line. So I guess it's like slightly overlined. And with my Cupid's bow up here, I just kind of start at my point. And I'll just like fill in down, but it's usually like the corners is where I feel like I actually need to fill in my liner the most. Okay, so liner done. Now we're going to put on the actual lipstick. And any color you get, try not to get anything that's sparkly or super shimmery. You probably want to look for a satin, which is a little bit more glossy than a matte or a matte. And that's what this one is. It's more of a satin. So it has just a teeny bit of a gloss to it. All right, so I just... <laughs> So I'm floofing a little bit. This is the end of the look then. Again, I will link everything down below so that you can check them out. But the main takeaway of this is you want as natural of makeup as possible. So you want to find a foundation, a powder, and concealer that match your skin tone perfectly. You want to accentuate your brows with their natural color, fill them in so that they look nice and polished. You want your eyeshadow to be matte colored. You do not want anything that is bright colors or sparkly or shimmery. Same thing goes with your lips. Pick a tone that's either the shade of your lip color or a, just a little bit pinker or darker than your actual lip color and wear very minimal eyeliner and mascara. And if you wear any, you want it to be a brown or super neutral shade and make everything look very, very blended around your eyes so that Again, you look put together, but it's not anything that's distracting. Same thing go with your cheeks. You want that nice, healthy looking, rosy glow, but nothing that is clownish or over the top. A couple of other things I just wanted to mention in this, and I can do more boss lady job interview tip videos if you're interested. So if you would like to see that, let me know that down in the comments. But I've been in so many interviews that these are some of the other things that have to do with your appearance beyond makeup that I just would want to point out. When it comes to jewelry, I just kind of put in these very simple dangly earrings. I would recommend something similar, very, very simple, if not even a stud in your ears. You don't want anything long, dangly, crazy, colorful, sparkly that's going to be a huge distraction for the people that are interviewing you. That also goes for your hair. If you're a person who like when you're nervous or like when you're thinking about things plays with your hair a lot, you might not wanna leave your hair down. I'd recommend putting it back into like a low pony or like a very chic kind of a bun in the back. Or what you can do, I just realized I had a bobby pin here. If you like just don't wanna make sure your hair is like in your face, just use some like bobby pins right along the front of your hairline like this. And that can just kind of help you I think like have your hair away from your face so it's not falling in your face so you're not nervously pushing your hair back or doing anything that would be super distracting when it comes to your hair. And really quickly, a couple things I would recommend as far as your attire goes. Black pants, dress pants, black pencil skirt, black dress capris depending on the time of year when you're interviewing, I would recommend black because it disguises stains so just in case anything happens before or on the way to your interview, you can you know very quickly go into a restroom even and with water kind of get rid of a stain and it doesn't show as easily on black. Um, also I would say then what's helpful is like wearing a black tank and keeping your blazer off of you until you actually walk into the job interview and this is a life hack go to Goodwill or a thrift store and find a really fun, colorful blazer. There are always so many options. I did this when I was in journalism school and had to anchor the news. I did this when I was a teacher. So I was on really tight budgets in both of those roles, but I always found the cutest, most colorful. I had like a hot pink blazer, a red blazer, an aqua blazer, an orange blazer. So I had these really fun, colorful, very like stylish looking blazers that I could just throw on over a black tank top like this and look super chic and professional. But I think I probably at most paid $3 for one of those blazers. So 
If you are a recent grad or on a budget and interviewing for jobs, I would highly recommend checking out a thrift store or Goodwill for a blazer that you know you can take to a dry cleaner or you can buy dry all and dry clean it at home and make sure it's nice and clean and fresh. But that kind of makes you stand out. I will say sitting on interview teams, sometimes somebody would then say, oh yeah, the woman in the pink blazer. So from a practical standpoint, wearing all black definitely just helps in case there's any sort of stains or spills that happen because of nerves. But then wearing that really bright colored blazer looks professional and that can kind of be what sets you apart then from other candidates interviewing who might be in that all black suit or all navy suit, um, which is very, very common and typical. And final thing I would say, if you are at all going to be nervous, this is just some Alta Beauty finishing powder. You know, as you enter any sort of a job interview, people are going to shake your hands generally when you introduce yourself. Unless it's some sort of a panel interview where you're gonna be sitting in front of them, they might not all get up and shake your hands. But generally, any sort of an interview when you walk into the room or you're interviewing, you'll shake the hands and introduce yourself to the people who are interviewing you. Sweaty palms are natural when you are nervous, especially going into a job interview. So this is my little hack. Buy some translucent powder. And the reason why I don't want to say baby powder is because you don't want baby powder spilling out all over your nice looking attire, um, especially if you're wearing the all black. But just put a little bit of this translucent powder on a brush and put it in the palms of your hands before you go in for the interview and it gets rid of that palm sweat. So that's my little other job interview hack. And I think this is only like $4 at the makeup store. You can just buy super cheap drugstore translucent powder and put it on your hands to ensure that you don't have sweaty palms when you go in for that handshake so you come off as a cool, calm, collected professional. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you liked it and you want more boss lady kind of videos on my channel. Let me know if you have any requests for particular topics you would like for me to continue to cover down in the comments below. I love your ideas so much and I love you guys. Thanks for just supporting me through this really crazy time and more than anything, giving me this space that's such a fun outlet and distraction for some of the hard stuff that we have going on right now and that we'll be here for a little bit. So thanks for all of the prayers and the love and I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.